Good morning, my peepers. Welcome to Shaleen's Creativity Room. He bangs. It is Thursday, February 16th. What's going on today? February 16th. Um, no birthdays today. Let's see here. Wednesday. What did I do yesterday? I diamond painted, I finished a book, and I cross-stitched. <gasps> I didn't zip up the pouch. <laughs> okay, so I diamond painted while in my Zoom. And I have two sections left. Woohoo! Took me almost a year, you guys. Because I don't stitch anymore like I used to. Okay, tweezers. So it's hanging up behind me. You can't see it. Nope. <laughs> yeah, it's hanging up behind me. And do I work on it next week? I can't remember. Um, I don't remember how the month lands. Nope, I don't work on it next week. Next week is the owl beaded kit because it's the last Wednesday of the month. So there's that. I cross-stitched on a Boo Crew. And I finished reading Wicked Games. And yes, I read a lot of it. Last night I got done with dinner and I'm like, I don't feel like sitting and listening to it on text to speech while stitching. So I sat in the recliner with a blanket to finish the book and Pearly Girl curled up on me. She did. And then when the book was done, I went into a Zoom and I cross stitched some more on Boo Crew. So, yeah, Boo Crew, it's by Fat Quarter Shop. It was a stitch along last year. I'm getting there. So the next time it gets called up, I will probably put three days in on it, but I don't think it'll need it. I probably can do it in one, depending on what else is going on that day. But that's it. I have the W to do. A cat in the broom. Oh, and up above, I think the E, there's a candlestick. I still need to do that. But, yeah, it's it's almost done. Woohoo! So, this will get put back in. <clears throat> so, I'm thrilled. I will have a finish this year because I don't have one yet. Not yet. And I'm doing a little bit, doing something different starting in March with my rotation. So hopefully I can get things done. Okay, got my coffee. It's got a heart. It is a Starbucks mug I've had for several years. Because you guys know my oldest son ran the Starbucks in Target. He works for Target. But, um, yeah, I got some shadows under my eyes. Um, he works for, for Target, but he ran the Starbucks in there. And they still have to follow Starbucks protocol on everything. But, um, he no longer runs it. He now is in charge of certain things in the store. And um, 
they want him to be like store manager and when he gets that position I guess he has to leave that store and go to a different one so yeah that'll be good because he makes pretty good money there um, today's weather right now it says that it is 42 feels like 40 today is a high of 44 and a low of 28 Cloudy skies with periods of light rain this afternoon. It says there is a marginal risk of severe weather today. Let me click on that. I don't know. It doesn't let me click on it. I don't know what that means. It just says light rain this afternoon. Humidity 69%, sunset 544. Rain, tonight, rain early followed by a mixture of wintry precipitation overnight. Chance of precipitation is 100%. So, yeah, that might be why it says that. So, we're going to do rainy. So this is this weekend's cross stitch weekend. I am excited. Um, I don't know if I will be in it all weekend. I may have to um, go to some um, awake. I have to find out when it is. And I'll explain that, too, in a few minutes. <clears throat> I think I'll do blue. Raindrops. Because I have stories to tell about this person that I was close to at one point in my life. And she's my age, so, you know, it really makes you step back and want to take care of yourself. Yeah. So, you know, I haven't seen her in several years. Um, so I don't know how I'm supposed to react to this in my, um, I don't know. I'm really, really sad. Okay. Let's see. We've got today's wisdom quote. Hold on. Um, oh, sorry. I had a message I had to answer. Yeah, I'm a little flustered this morning. Don't mind me. Okay. Um, um, story stitches who did, who did the nightmare before Christmas stitch along the Christmas classic stitch along part of your world stitch along is doing a Fantasia stitch along. The frame release is June 30th at 10 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I signed up for it. Um, I'm hoping I like it better than part of your world. The first picture drop 
I guess it's supposed to be a dog. It looks like a ghost. It does not look like a dog, and some of us are not happy with it at all. Okay, so wisdom quote. The search for happiness is one of the chief sources of unhappiness by Eric Hoffer. Probably because while you're searching for happiness, you're unhappy. Just be happy, people. Be happy and grateful for what you already have. Word of the day. Word, word, word of the day. Word, 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 word of the day. And today's word is Rubicon. 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 It's an adjective meaning red or reddish. Rubicon. Today is a national day. <laughs> Let's do this. National do a grouch a favor day. If you know someone who's a grouch, do them a favor. It'll either make them grouchier or get them out of the grouchiness. But national do a grouch a favor day. Do that. Okay. I can put this in here. Cross Stitch Weekend, people. I've had a couple new people reach out to me from um, a Facebook message that I left last year on a Cross Stitch Retreat Facebook group. And they were always asking who's doing retreats, such and yada, yada, yada. And I told them I do a Zoom one. I would consider the retreat once a month. So I've all of a sudden now people are coming up from two years, from last year. They're seeing the post. So um, they've sent me their emails and hopefully they'll join us. Um... Yeah. So what am I doing today? Today is Haunted Library Stitch Along. Yep, Haunted Library. So um, this is what it will look like when it's all done. Cool, huh? It is by Lola Crow. And I forget what I'm working on this time. Hmm. The dead librarian, I guess. I thought I had done that last time. I guess not. The dead librarian? Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Yep, the dead librarian. So she goes up over here. She'll go up over here on this staircase. So I have the staircase done. There is a big bookshelf that goes up here, but the, the dead librarian goes down in here. So that's what I am doing today. These aren't too bad to stitch up. I don't believe there's any um, back stitching. No, there's no back stitching. So yeah. That is what I'm working on today. The Dead Librarian, which was Chapter 1 for the Haunted Library. And it is done on 18 count vintage country mocha, Ada. Stitch on that today. 
and I finished a book yesterday, so, and I'm tired today. I slept good. Still trying, I think I'm still trying to catch up on sleep. You know, and my mom and my friend Shar and a few other people told me that the um, insomnia just gets worse the older you get. And I'm like, please don't tell me that. I'm having a hard time as it is. Okay, so I finished that book yesterday, Wicked Games by Nancy Brown. Today is an audio book that was recommended on TikTok. I wouldn't be listening to this except that it was, I have been on a waiting list for like two months, two months, and I finally got it yesterday. So open audiobook. The audiobook is A Good Girl's Guide to Murder by, by Holly Jackson. There's three books to the series, and the novella just came out. I just got the novella to do as a review. So I need to read all three of these books, and then I'll read the novella. A Good Girl's Guide to Murder. And then the other two books are called, and it is a YA mystery I've got kind of gotten away from reading YA, but this looked really good. Um, fantastic Fiction. Holly Jackson. So, um, actually, the book I just got is the point five, so maybe I should read that first. It's a novel. You've got mail. It's a novella. Oh, well, I'm reading it when I'm done with the whole series. Anyway, so the first book is A Good Girl's Guide to Murder. The second, and it came out in 2019. The second book is Good Girl, Bad Blood. That came out in 2020. And As Good as Dead came out in 2021. And it says Killjoy came out in 2021, but I just got it. So I don't know. And it's the only series. She does have a novel that came out last year called Five Survive. I'm pretty sure I wanted to read that one as well. But, um, yeah, so... I'm going to have to go in and ask for the other two books from the library so that I can listen to them all. So I will be starting that today while stitching on Haunted Library. Um, so I went to bed an hour earlier than I normally do. And I slept good. The dog woke me up once to go potty. I let her out. I went potty, let her back in. We went back to bed. I did not get up again until quarter to ten this morning. So I, I think I needed to catch up on some sleep. So I took my, <clears throat> um, my diabetes pill as soon as I got up. Came in here, grabbed my phone to check messages. My sister messaged me that my friend Bonnie passed away. <clears throat> um, I'm like, oh. Bonnie had had a massive stroke in November, the end of November. And um, I thought she was doing okay. My mom saw her. She, so... Bonnie was my best friend for a few years in high school. We kind of just grew apart, you know, no, no fight or anything. I dated her brother for four years, on and off. We just had one of those relationships. We'd break up, get back together, break up, get back together. Um, for four years, I, yeah, I started dating him my junior year of high school. He was a senior. And um, four years, her and I were... I moved to that school in 77, 
the that family moved there in 78 or 79. Her and I became best friends right away. Um, I think because we both were kind of newbies to the school. And her nickname was Care Bear. I don't know. We just, she's got two other sisters. And um, so her brother was a year older than us. She's my age. And then she had has a sister, Colleen, who is four years younger than us. And then her sister, Amy. And I'm not sure how many years behind us Amy is. Maybe six years. And so I spent a lot of time in that household. You know, I spent a lot of time with their parents, their mom. So their mom, their sisters, my mom and I, we would go and take off and go to go to craft shows and stuff. Um, yeah, Bonnie and I would get into a little trouble in school. Nothing major, you know, just just pranks. We like to prank one teacher. Our social studies teacher, I, I think he was an eighth grade or ninth grade social studies teacher. He did not like gum being chewed in his class. So we made sure we always had a piece of gum right before we walked in his class. And we'd sit down and we'd make sure he could see that we were chewing our gum. This was a game we played with him all the time. I know he knew it. And he'd say, uh... Morel or Blondie, he called me Blondie. Her last name's McGee, but they, he called her Magoo. Blondie and Magoo, is that gum I see in your mouth? Yes, sir. And he'd bring the basket over, spit it out. We did it almost every day. Yep, we wasted gum, but it was a game we did for a year. Most teachers didn't care. We chewed gum. He was the only, he didn't like it. We had one teacher. He chomped on his gum throughout the whole class. He was another social studies teacher, so we were allowed to chew it in his class, but him, no. <coughs> um, <coughs> she has a son. I think he's maybe around Dylan's and Justin's age. I I only saw him once when he was a little kid, and I haven't seen her in a few years. Um, she never came to any of our class reunions. I don't know why. She got along with everybody. Everybody liked her. So I never could figure out why she didn't come to a class reunion. While Dade and her brother, um, he was closer to the sister that was four years younger than us. So she was upset when I started dating him because he wasn't hanging out with her. So I would include her in on our excursions once in a while. You know, if we went to the movies or out to go get something to eat, we would include her once in a while. Her and I became really close friends for a while. And her and I would hang out after we had broken up. Her and I would go out. We were now drinking age. Her and I would go out once in a while out in the bar. In fact, the night I gave birth to Justin, Scott came home, and he had called her to let her know that I had Justin and those two went out together that night. That was funny. Um, her brother had passed away in a car accident in 86, I believe, because 86 was a bad year. I, we lost quite a few people that year. Um, he was killed in a car accident. And as soon as she, I went to their house the, the morning after, and um, yeah, she came screaming out of the house, hugging me, just... Anyways, the sister Bonnie I graduated with, um, she, like I said, she had a massive stroke in November. My mom saw the youngest sister not too long ago, and all she said was that Bonnie will never walk again. <clears throat> She'll be in a wheelchair forever. So um, I'm surprised. I was surprised to hear that. So my sister had messaged me this morning to let me know because... Colleen, the sister that was four years younger than us, she had posted on Facebook. And I hadn't been on it, Facebook, yeah. So, um, yeah, so I contacted my classmates to let them all know, you know, that Bonnie passed away yesterday. Yeah, <laughs> stories, oh my gosh, and hanging out at their house. Um, their mom passed away from cancer a couple years ago. Um I don't even, 
three years, four years maybe she passed away. And I don't know how their dad's doing. I know he's been really, really sick. And they're my parents' age, so, um, yeah. So I'm waiting to hear when calling hours are so I can go to that. And I did message Colleen. I'm very, very sorry about your sister's passing and thinking of you and your family. Love you guys. Hugs and prayers. Um, yeah, I'm not sure how to react to this because she was a big part of my life as a teenager. <laughs> not anymore as an adult, but as a teenager, she was a big part of my life. Um, and... I was already engaged to Scott when their brother was killed in the car accident. Him and I, um, we had broken up a year before his car accident. And um, we had broken up before when I met Scott. And then we got back together. And then um, Scott and I got engaged. And he had asked if he could come to my wedding and I said well yeah because his family was getting invited so I said of course and the his whole family did come to my wedding but of course he was already gone by then but um you know Colleen's lost her brother years ago and her mom a couple years ago and now her sister so she's got one sister left and her dad and her dad's kind of like my dad real gruff <laughs> <laughs> um, so yeah, you know, I knew all of her cousins and her aunts and uncles and I was always included in family functions. So I, I know the whole families. It's just sad, you know, 50, 57 years old and you're gone from a massive stroke from a few months ago. So that's my downer for today. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to bring you guys down. Just wanted to share a little bit. So, yeah, I'm going to listen to the book and cross-stitch today. I do have a load of laundry I need to fold, so I'll do that. I don't feel like doing anything. I am drained today. I don't know what's going on. Um, I had run out of women's one a day probably two months ago I did buy a bottle the other day I'm starting to get that back in my system and I'm out of vitamin D so I need to get vitamin D again back into my system loved that it was sunny yesterday it was sunny the day before I soaked up some sun but um yeah this I I think it's just the winter blues even though we haven't had snow it's just been so gray and dreary out so um yeah <laughs> I um gotta get back into eating right again all the time I do good and then I'll slack up yesterday was one of those days where I didn't care I just ate what I wanted you know, and then you have a friend that, that passes away at your age, and it's kind of like another wake-up call. So, yeah, some more changes again. <laughs> doing my best, doing my best. Tonight is um, some NASCAR racing. I plan on watching that. I don't know if I will go into the cross-stitch Zoom. I normally go in on Thursday nights because I want to watch that. I'm not sure yet what I'm doing. Um... Like I said, I don't know if I'll be in my cross-stitch weekend Zoom the whole weekend. Depends on when calling hours are. Saturday, I think Justin comes over. He's my oldest son. I will probably just mute myself because him and I watch TV. I want to watch some movies. Um, what else? Sunday is NASCAR. So, again, that... I'm not sure what time it comes on Sunday, but I'll mute myself for that. But I'll still be in Zoom. So, yeah, the only time I'll be leaving the house is for calling hours. If they have them, I'm sure they will. But it's a big family. <sighs> That's it for today, my peepers. If I forgot something, I'm sorry. My mind is just not with it today. I need... Oh, I didn't even write... <laughs> Wow, you guys, I didn't write in my crafty planner. She told you I'm just not with it today. Okay, so I got to write in here. 
I did not keep track of hours yesterday because it was a chart. Today's morning video. And I worked on diamond painting. Where is my purple pen? Okay, so diamond painting, butterfly, real, and we cross stitched Boo Crew. Again, there is no more live streams on Thursday nights. My cross stitch one, my floss tube live stream will be Sunday, even though I'm got my Zoom. I still will be doing that. So this weekend, I'll be stitching on Chessie tomorrow, all day. Saturday, most of the day is Spider Queen. And then Saturday night is Quick Stitch Curly Tailed Rosie. And then Sunday, I'm starting White Santa. So, yeah, it'll be busy. It's So, today's a chart, and then the rest of the weekend is full coverage. Um, White Santa is a chart. It's full coverage. I'll pro I don't know. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, to um, wait and see how I want to work with that. But Boo Crew... Boo Crew. And I need to go eat. I did not have breakfast. It is almost lunch time. I'm going to have lunch. It's just because I had one of those days. Okay, 2.15. One of those mornings, I should say. Yeah. Okay, so I got to write... And here I got to write book reviews and I have to be in the right frame of mind to do a book review and I still have a couple more to write <clears throat> so we'll see how my day goes if I end up doing that so yesterday was Wednesday I finished I want this one. Finished Wicked Games, by Nancy Brown, it did get published last week, so it is available, and I got this from NetGalley for review, and I think I'm sticking with four stars. I kind of wanted to give it five, but it's getting four stars. When did I start it? Sunday. Okay, that's not bad. So, there's that. And then today I will start... Good Girl's Guide to Murder. And it is a YA. And that's by Holly Jackson. That was a TikTok recommendation. So I'm going to listen to that today. It's like it's like 11 hours, and I do it at two times speed so I can get it done in, what, five, five and a half hours. So I'm, I'm hoping to get it done today. Start it and finish it today, or at least pretty close. 
<clears throat> yes. Um, I do need to write in here. I do keep notes of when I finish a book and I did not do that so um, yeah the last the runaway princess I forgot to write in 21 oh February yeah so I've read 21 the 21st book I read this year was The Girl from the Other Side. So I have not reviewed any of the books I've read this month. And I've read 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 7. Anna Savoda. And then February continued. I need a new blue pen. This one's dying. Yeah, I don't see any ink. So this is book number 22, Wicked Games. Nancy Brown. And my challenge was to read 50 this year. 50 or 75. I can't remember. One of them. So, yeah, that's my little mini planner. Um, you know, it's got the dates. Readathon weekend. Um, I write. <clears throat> like, today I wrote, I wrote in. I finished a book yesterday, starting one today. That's how I use this. And then this is just a mini notebook. So, um, this section here, I write what books I've read this year when I finish it. And then if I write a review, I put a check mark. And then I have another section here that I write down some um, TikTok books that they talked about new releases. So, um, yeah, I need to get to those. And then I have another section. I have not used that for anything. You know, and then I can just add more notes in this if I want to. And I can always get re bigger rings to put on this. Because I did that. These are classic size rings that I put on here. So, yep. That's it for today. I'm going to go fix me some lunch. And listen to my book. I hope that you all have a great day today. And maybe I'll see some of you around somewheres. Love you guys. Bye.